Computers and video games, more than a way to pass the time for Paulo and Hiki Machado, a gateway to a world that exists beyond these walls. A survivor of polio, Paulo and Hiki has spent almost his entire life inside Brazil's biggest hospital. Paralyzed from the waist down, he's been bedridden for most of those 43 years. If you ask me, Paulo, are you happy? I can say that 60% of the time I am, but 40% I'm human. Paulo and Hiki has more than 3,000 friends on Facebook. Although he's met very few in person, he chats, shares pictures, and plays video games. Now his passion for those games is taking him on a rare trip outside the hospital. We meet Paulo and Hiki as he gets ready for the anxiously awaited video gaming convention. He travels in an ambulance with medical technicians paid for by donations. It's going to be fun. I like it because it's a world where I'm free. I do what I want. Another complication, the respirator. He doesn't need it 24 hours, but feels more secure having it just in case. Once inside, we enter Paulo and Hiki's world. He's wheeled from one end of the convention to the other, accompanied by medical technicians and a tight-knit group of friends. Finally, he tries his hand at a few rounds of Battlefield 4. When Paulo Henrique was first admitted to the polio ward at the Clinicas Hospital in Sao Paulo, he wasn't expected to live more than 10 years. Most of his friends passed away, but he and his lifelong roommate Eliana Zaghi survived, confounding experts. They made the intensive care unit their home and the hospital staff their family. For Paulo Henrique, some of his happiest memories are visits to the real world. A Formula One race a trip to the beach with Eliana and friends to watch the sunset. There was a decade of freedom when Paulo and Hiki used an electric wheelchair to come and go with relative ease. Dr. Nuno da Silva, a physician who became a friend, often accompanied him. I had the opportunity to take him for the first time to the cinema and McDonald's. But then post-polio syndrome set in, causing gradual weakening in muscles already hit by polio. It became impossible for Paulo and Hiki to straighten his legs enough to sit in a wheelchair, which means trips are increasingly rare and only in a hospital bed. But as you can see, the condition hasn't stopped him. It's given him reason to be even more excited about his escapes into the fantasy world of video games. You don't pay attention to anything else around you. It's great. You just want to discover more. For a day at least, the tubes, the respirator, the hospital bed, they all fade into the background, and Paulo and Hiki becomes invincible. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Sao Paulo.